This bishop that Moretti mentioned. Damien Bishop, the man who found the cure. A vaccination to make 6115 victims human again. A cure? Did it work? It should have. Something was blocking it. Bishop had this theory. He believed somewhere there was an undead brain. A single creature controlling them as a collective hive. He believed that it somehow blocked the cure. We met him in 2065 when he made the breakthrough. News traveled fast. He and a few others were kidnapped in Ethiopia. It was a joint op with Taylor's team. We were to extract Bishop from a base overrun by the dead. With the dead crawling all over, we needed a distraction. Something to keep the flesh eaters occupied so we could grab Bishop. We weren't dead killers yet, so we had to be a little more creative. And lucky for us, there were plenty of NRC birds in the sky, and the NRC's dead system still worked. Laser cannons built to auto-target any hostile aircraft. So you created the diversion. And Taylor's team prepped extraction. Unfortunately, it seemed our cover wouldn't last as long as we hoped. The remaining NRC noticed the radio silence from air traffic control and had sent soldiers to investigate. Command set Xfil for a satellite station off base. We reset the dead system to target one of the automated planes circling above. Turns out the undead have a thing for giant explosions, like moths drawn to a porch lamp. And all we had to do was turn on the lights. Unfortunately, we couldn't exactly control the landing. Hendrix alerted Taylor the bird was down and the diversion in play. We took out the NRC and moved. Bishop was being held underground in the security station across the tarmac. Hendrix ordered weapons down. The base was crawling with NRC soldiers and undead. No need to draw anymore. We crossed the tarmac. The tunnel ahead led to the security station. Hendrix took out the guards. I hacked into the system to find Bishop. Why were there NRC still at the base? 
It was being overrun. They needed the cure. They kidnapped Bishop's whole team and would do whatever it took to get their hands on it. They'd torture these researchers till the dead broke down the door and ripped them all to shreds if it meant they could save their people. It wasn't personal. It was self-preservation. With the secret out about Bishop's discovery, he'd become the most wanted man in the world. The NRC were just the first to grab him. It was every country for itself. Why do you think we were there? The Winslow Accord wanted the same thing the NRC did. You can't rationalize anything when you're put up against the wall. <laughs> Nothing about this was rational. It was instinctual, animalistic, survival. He had been escorted to an interrogation room. We had to hurry. Behind us was an undead army. Once one got a whiff, the others would come running. Hendricks told Bishop who we were and that we had to move, but Bishop refused to leave without the other researchers, his friends. Our instructions were specific. Bishop was our priority. We didn't like it, but Bishop refused to leave without them. It sounds like you were taking an awful risk. He said for the cure to work, he needed them. They weren't expendable. Technically, we were. In a way, you and the NRC were not so different in what you wanted and how far you were willing to go. Our method was different. Our reasoning was not. No one wants to sacrifice themselves to save the world. But you like to think if the moment came, you'd have it in you. Who was inside the cell? Lieutenant Zied Khalil, member of the Egyptian army. Back in 65, he was a guard assigned to Bishop's research station. This was how we met. Hendricks cut him down and notified Taylor we were freeing the other hostages. Taylor said we didn't have the time. The base was swarming with additional NRC forces. They weren't letting their prize go that easily. 
There was a tunnel full of hostile soldiers between us and our exit. A cargo elevator ahead was the only way to the surface. No telling how close the dead were behind us. The remaining NRC forces were waiting for us above. They weren't about to let their prized prisoner go. If it meant getting the cure and saving their families, they were willing to die for it. And they weren't the only ones. We'd never seen dead killers in action before. To us, it was a spectacle. To them, it was just another day in the life. Wait a minute. Do not be deceived by his lies. Remember your past. Remember when you first met John Taylor. Remember the truth. Wait, wait, this is wrong. This can't be real. I told you I met Taylor in Zurich during the 2065 Cotardist Uprising, after I became a dead killer. But here I am with Taylor, and my limbs haven't been replaced yet. I'm still human. Why did you tell me that the first time I met Taylor was Zurich? Focus. You need to complete this memory. What was Taylor's plan? We were still on for Exfil, but first we had to blow the bridge. We followed Diaz. Both undead and NRC forces were converging on our position.
Paul grabbed us after the hangar. She was to take us to Moretti, so we could blow the bridge. After the bridge, we were forced inside a comm center. Moretti took point. The rendezvous with Taylor was an APC garage just ahead. We could hear the undead screaming towards us, but that wasn't all. A robot horde was moving in. And Taylor would need some time to get the door open. forced into the garage. What happened there? Hendricks wanted to go back and get the other hostages. Taylor said Bishop was priority. After all, he had the cure. The rest were just collateral. What did Taylor do? He volunteered to take his team to get the others. We were to take Khalil and Bishop to Exfil.
we got on the APC, Bishop was the most important man in the world right now. We had to get him to exfil if it killed us. Hendrix needed a minute to get it going. APC spun out and crashed. Hendrix moved Bishop into position. The drone evac was inbound. Once secured in the drop pod, it would return to collect. We just needed to hold back the horde. What happened? Airspace was compromised. They had to pull out. Bishop was priority. We were extended. We heard Taylor comms. He was inbound and told us to hang on. No. I can't do this. I can't live this again. No. Please. I am sorry. You must. No, no, please! If you wish to defeat Gamos, you must. To save the world, you must relive this. I should have died. I felt myself fade. It was over. That was the day I met John Taylor. That was the day I became a dead killer. <laughs>